Um, so <laughs> I got the opportunity to see Les Brown at the Academy of Music here. And well, it ain't even here now because I'm not there. <laughs> but right. he came to Philadelphia and he was at the um, Academy of Music. And this man had so many people coming to see him. And he was known as a motivational speaker. Okay. That night that I had went to that show, I didn't, I, and this is what happened. Um, you know how the, the radio shows like do sponsorships and stuff where you can win tickets on the radio. Mm -hmm. But my ex-wife had the opportunity to win tickets on the radio to see Les Brown. And when I went to see him, it was just like, watch this. You know how people would go to see uh, maybe Julia Servin or Mike, Michael Jordan, and they see people, and that's what people will sometimes be inspired to do. So you got some people that want to, you know, be basketball. Somebody wanted to be a football star. Somebody might see, um, what's her name? What are, any Beyonce and be inspired. Well, I was inspired by Les Brown to be a motivational speaker. And from that, I was like, knowing numbers, you know, me and them numbers, this guy got, this is like, he made $40 per head, 40. Needless to say that $40, you know, he had to share some of that with him. But I'm looking at all these heads in this daggone academy of music. And I was just inspired to be a motivational. I said, because the thing was, it's always, and I think this is a help you here because you wonder how people get where they are. But I, I looked at him and I was inspired. And, and he would always say, he would say something. And then he said, uh -huh, uh -huh. like, you got to hear his laugh. It was so corny. And I was like, I could, like, right then, I can do this. I can yes. do this. And that's what inspired me to become Mr. Motivator. So that's where my name has come from. And at the end of the day, Mr. Motivator, you know, I just have to live out of lane. That's me. I'm Mr. Motivator. So yes, you are. <laughs> yes, you are. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here to tell you. I think in, in my two years of knowing this awesome man of God, I saw him down for a brief moment one yeah. day. <laughs> out of two years, one day. And everybody was so overwhelmed with that moment he was having <laughs> mm -hmm. that we did everything we knew to do to pick him right back up because it's like we said, no, that's not you, Mr. Motivator. You the motivator. But hey, everybody has a bad day. Everybody has a down day. Yes. But we don't call them days. We call yep. them moments. Yes. You allow it to prolong a day, a week, a month. That's mm -hmm. on you. But mm -hmm. it's a moment. And you have the decision at that moment to decide, am I going to wallow in this or not? But I'm not going to keep taking this up. I'm going to let Mr. Motivator keep right on going, keep on going. LCA, tell us about LCA because LCA has an awesome history. Awesome. Take it away, sir. Let me let me show you how this, this thing came, the life-changing alliances. Um, in the midst of it, I had decided June, I mean, in 2015, that I decided to put the, um, I, and it, it wasn't, no, Siri, this is not your interview. This is mine. Okay. <laughs> so at the end of the day, I'm sitting, there's a few things that just came in. I, I'm, Jamal had went to a church and his was world changes. Um, I've heard of, and this is where even Creflo Dollar had a lot to do with it because I was looking at his ministry. And at the end of the day, when I was coming up, I was like, life. And I couldn't, I said, life. I had life. I, didn't, I couldn't say the same thing. But anyway, you know, one day, Manfred said, alliances, because that was a gather the people. So, you know, it wasn't just me. And I never read books. I was just thinking, once I got out of school, I left that situation because I ain't got to read another book ever. Not that I even read a book in school, but <laughs> my mother used to punish me by going. She said, go to, go to your room and read. I hate it. I literally hated it. So um, at the end of the day, Lynn started reading to me and I love that. And I said, I know I ain't the only one that like to be read to. So you know what? I'm going to start a book club online. 
And that's how Life Changing Alliance, I mean, we started in 2015. We've been going on this thing. And the reason why, because it, it's now a habit, um, Mumford said to us, he said to me, he said, in order to become an expert, you had to do something a thousand times. So that's my job. I'm being, I didn't have to go to school. They just said, if you could do this a thousand times, I say one day, two days, three days, now it's a habit. You understand what I'm saying? It's just like when you go to church every Sunday, you go to church every Sunday, one day after you stop going and you don't go that Sunday, your whole week is off. So <laughs> it's like when we don't go to our personal, <laughs> my whole week is off if I'm not yes, there. Sir. You know what I mean? So Absolutely. That, that's where Life Changing Alliances came from. It's only going to get better and bigger. Absolutely. Absolutely. And I'm, I'm going to veer back into it a little bit more, but... And I, I guess I'm putting a little plug in there because I'd like to have one of those experiences with life changing alliances. Tell them about your retreats. What were the results of some of your retreats? Well, all y'all know my wife is a travel agent, right? Yes. And what we did with the retreats, and we knew because we love traveling and stuff like that, but we also had to implement some things involved. And it was like personal development. It's not just what you think it is. And when we would go on these retreats, like Lynn came up with the name when we went on the cruises, and mm -hmm. then every year we go up into these mountains to the cabin. Yeah. And that's when we did retreats and stuff. And the thing was, you know, what we did, we had several individuals that had accomplished something while they were there. And what we would do was just say, Darlena, for instance. I would say, Darlena. I want you to go into one of the rooms and teach an hour. And we was up there all night and all day. And we wasn't doing nothing but learning and learning and learning. So I had my segment, Mumford had his segment, Darlena had her segment, mm -hmm. Sabrina was down one of the stars, she had her segment. And it was just like, cause you know, people see it and they go, most people want to know, well, dad, how did they do it? What do you do? Yeah. So with that being said, we would go up on these trips and then the cruises, we did the same exact thing. We on a cruise all day long anyway. So when that cruise went out to sea, it mm -hmm. never went, it didn't go to the, um, yeah, it never went in. It wasn't at the island, it was just on the sea. What we would do is we would have a room and every hour on the hour, we was in that room wow. together and somebody was talking about something. We had skits on it where we had you was mom, that person. But literally, yes. it was called Transformation by Sea. Wow. Transformation by the Sea. And I mean, we got all kinds of folders and things that we come, that Lynn just really, you know, she goes all out for this whole thing. Because yes, she does. Our She's name, a hostess everything. of the most. <laughs> yes, and this done in excellence. Yes. So y'all know that's coming up. Just just stand by. It's going to come up real fast. <laughs> I can't wait. Oh, I can hardly wait. I'm, I'm, I'm going to contain myself because I personally love retreats. The purpose of a retreat is to retreat. I like to retreat <laughs> myself, meaning whatever uh, healing, whatever deliverance, whatever refreshing, reviving, rejuvenating, restoring, replenishing you need to do. Everyone needs to go on a retreat at least minimum once a year and work your way up to once a quarter. Because as these challenging times come, we are going to definitely need to know how to work hard, play hard. But in between that, personal development personal development which leads me to my next question and our subject for today when we look at personal development and it's it's a big thing right now but i think it needs to be more uh specialized it needs to be more where people are really seeing results and it's not just a fad it's not just something to do what's being done on on the Zoom calls at 9 a.m. Monday through Friday uh, with life-changing alliances is truly exactly what the word says. 
there is life going on every day. There's changes going on every day. There's development going on every day. And there's an alliance, a coming together of like-minded individuals. And it's for personal development, but it's also aiding us in our business. We talk about literally every aspect. We have our Wellness Wednesday with Darlena Rose, and we have the book club where we dive into various books that helps us personally, but also helps us into our business. And when I tell you we dive into these books, we dive into these books for weeks. And some books, depending on what it is, months. We just don't ride through these books. And, you know, Kim can tell you, Mr. Motivated can tell you some of the books that um, they had done before I came, but just the books that I've been into since I've been with Life Changing Alliances, I've, it's been life changing for me. My whole mental, my whole visual, my whole understanding is different. And I'm 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 not, I'm not gonna do all the talking. Let's let's go let's go. Y'all hear me every day for sixty days. I'm here to li let's listen to our guests. Tell us what is your philosophy of personal development as it pertains to life changing alliances and what you and Dr. Lynn do every Monday through Friday. Well, I will tell you this. Number one, it's like when you want to transform, you want to change. There's something that you had to make a decision to want to change. And one of those changes was when I heard about personal development, the way that it would re resonate with me, it didn't because I ain't trying to do no, you know, you'll hear a person at these events and they say, well, make your car your university. That don't even make sense to me, but... <laughs> You'll hear this when I said it, and he says, the same way that we looked at our money, the way we do our life, like you said, you, you, you know, life is changing. Things are changing. Everything around you is changing inside of you. I didn't even think about that part. I'm out here getting this part, the hats and the nice chains and stuff around my neck, but I wasn't even thinking your inside can be changed. So how personal development became a factor for me. The one guy, and he only said it, he said one time, he says, your income will never exceed your personal development. That day, that day, I don't know what's resonating with anybody that's on this call right now or whoever hears the listeners after the fact, but let me share something with you. And I'm gonna say it one more time. I don't give a dang what or who you are. No matter how much you're thinking, your income will never exceed your personal development, period. That's how it comes in here. So now when you say my money, since I've started in 2015, Literally. Now, now let me show you something, though. I was a millionaire in 2010, the very first time. See, and, and then you'll hear somebody say, like, even when I heard it from the same person, he said, you may even get lucky and then get your million. But just as fast as you get it, poof, it's gone. So guess what? If you spend one penny, you're no longer a millionaire, guys. So at, you get the lottery, you don't change inside of you or who you know and your wisdom in that brain up here. I guarantee you, this thing is what's going to articulate everything. And then you'll realize you don't have to do, like people keep asking me what I got to do to change. Don't ask that question. Don't even say all right. You know what I mean? So at the end of the day, if you're not willing to make the change inwardly, so personal development when i met men i said you don't have to take that but you see the thing that i'm learning is if you get rid of something you got to replace it with something mm -hmm. <coughs> you just can't say i'm not going to do this something has to replace that some type of that's the, the paradigm part you yes. hear people say a paradigm shift 
So mm -hmm. the paradigm is taking this out, but you got to put something else there. Absolutely. So that's the personal development. <clears throat> and the thing that you have there that's a habit, it took mm -hmm. time to form that. Yes. So the personal development is going to take some time too. Yes, we have really have to be patient with ourselves. We find that we, if we would take the same energy that we use to beat up on ourselves, then and rather take that time to put positive, positive words in your hearing, positive words in your meditation, positive speaking over your atmosphere, over your families, over those things that matter to you most is one of the challengingest things that we have to do because it's taking this flesh and telling it no to what it's accustomed to doing, which is all the negative stuff, even in our, our eating, our health habits, we have to literally tell our flesh, no, sit down. Like we would tell our children, no, you can't have that. You have to tell your flesh, no, you can't have that, mm -hmm. but you can have this. Cause I love the way you pointed out that we're always telling people what they can't do, what they can't do, what they can't do. We'll give them something they can do to replace that. And you will find that little by little, please, you gotta be patient with yourself. You didn't formulate these negative habits overnight as Mr. Motivator said. So take it day at a time. That's why on our Fridays, I encourage everyone to just breathe and begin to speak those positive affirmations. And we're gonna talk about some of the aspects of what's being done in Life Changing Alliance when it comes to that, which leads me to this question, Mr. Motivator. What are some of the habits that what we say the wealthy people do? What, what are some of the habits that we talk about on Life Changing Alliances that we need to develop in or on a daily basis so that we can begin this personal development process? Well, <clears throat> think about this for a second. If you look at your relationship, what was the thing that you, you say most relationships will fail? What are the things, why did the relationship fail in the beginning? Or anything, what do you think? What's one of the number one things that will fail a relationship? <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, it's money. Money, that's one. Communication, they, they kind of run neck and neck. Because if you're not talking about the money, if you if you're not communicating about how we gonna do stuff, then yeah, they kind of run neck and neck. <laughs> That's it. And then money. you know the third thing that falls. Yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> if you're not talking and you messing with the money, oh boy, we know what come next. It's like okay, now you got problems. Exactly. So I think that's one of the major things. We talk about the communication. So it had to change. But at the end of the day, when I always say, find someone who has your results already. Do you feel me? Yes. If you yes. find a person that has the results, then you follow them. You just follow them. You get on their calls, watch how they raise their children. Why do I follow Myron? Myron is where I was. He was a he's a minister, but he was an assistant pastor. I'm like, mm -hmm. how is he assistant pastor? It didn't make sense to me. If you're doing a freaking event, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Well, when do you do your church thing? But at the end of the day, he was doing his ministry then. But we That's thought it. it was supposed to be, and it's like the things in our thinking. He says the thing. The things that lead to our destructions is what we think is right. Absolutely. So you, Absolutely. because my mom raised me this way. So you believe that you gotta, what? Nope, nope, no. Nope. You can't do those. So habits, when it says, I watched Mr. M Myron is always, he never ever says, you know, or judges this one or judges that one. Mm. This man had a limp with his leg. He got a, a, yeah. a Thing in his leg that and he said 
Before y'all start talking about me, let me get y'all get out of it so you don't talk get about Get the elephant me. out the room. Get the elephant out the room. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my leg down, right? Yeah. And everybody said, what's wrong with your leg? He said, what's wrong with yours? <laughs> he said, you well, gotta love you Myron. Like yeah. He said, why you walk like that? I said, wait a minute. <laughs> so everything that you hear might be right. He says, listen, I'm very, very unique. Yeah. You walk like everybody else. Why you walk like? And the Bible constantly says, "Don't conform." And my walk, mm, y'all gonna hear this. I, I walk like right. everybody else. I got my own stroll. Hello, Absolutely. But guys, now I said this in the beginning of our classes. I would always say, "You study." It says, "You've been doing something so long, so wrong. It now appears to be right." Yes. You feel me? So Absolutely. at the end of the day, why are we going to do what we're doing so long? If you broke now, why you got to learn how to do something different? Absolutely. Personal development is where we go. What to say to yourself when you talk. I read that book. I was like, what? Who wrote this book? What to say to yourself. Mm. That's, that's, and then my girl, she'll oh. tell you that. That was the book that really changed her life. What do you say to yourself? Yes. Gremlins. There, you'll hear the one about the gremlins inside of us. Everybody has gremlins in their head. You're right. Saying, so don't do this. You should do this. And, and you go against everything. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, personal development, Yes. you can't change this. And that's what causes the habit to now watch this. Maybe you should just write it down. Oh, uh, yeah. Let's talk about that part. Yes. Okay. Yes. When you got your money and you say, watch this. And I know this is bad for most people. Now, watch this, Laverne. If I asked you how to get to your house, you start <laughs> telling me <laughs> how to get to your house. So I'm listening. And it was like, uh, okay, how do you get to your house? So when you get off that plane, I want you to get on this world, go to this world. I said, wait, wait, let me write it down. Why are you writing that down? You better. <laughs> but, yeah, so I don't forget. Because so, after about the third right and the, and the second left, it's like, okay, I have to fight to stay tuned into what you're saying because I'm already trying to remember the first three moves. I tell you, GPS saved a lot of marriages, a lot of relationships. Woohoo! Man. I applaud, and, and from what I understand, it was a black woman that created that, but that's a whole nother topic. Oh, but thank man. you, madam, for making <laughs> GPS, because you have saved thousands and thousands of lives. And it, it, it's funny, it would take a woman to do that. Because <laughs> we got sick and tired of y'all getting lost. Is that we ain't lost? We ain't lost. So at the end of the day, those are some, like your habits, you got to start, like I said, a journal. Ah, yes. Talk, talk about, about the, the journal. The talk journal. about the journal. When you write it down, like the journal ain't just for you to talk about all of the negative stuff in your life. That's done. So let's talk about the positive things. What are you going to do? Write the date down. Hold yourself accountable. What time yes. did you do it? We talking about this crypto game, right? He, what did the first thing that Craig told y'all to do? Write down the date of when you bought the crypto. So That's the right. day's date, you'll know. Ledgers, ledgers, ledgers. You, you see, mm -hmm. you know, I didn't do none of that stuff. I don't work. Well, I had Lynn. You know why my business is going the way that it is? Because it's easy to simply share when he says, well, what does that look like? All I show you, yeah, I made $20,000. I made $18,000 Friday. Mm -hmm. Huh? If that mm -hmm. don't <laughs> yeah. Ah, <laughs> documentation <laughs> beats conversation. I ain't got to say a daggone thing, do I? Nope. Oh, my Not God. A word. <laughs> but everybody, you should get it. When it said, let the work I done speak for me. <laughs> Learn that one. Now. Oh, yes. Same thing with habits. You know, it's like everybody says, I'm going to lose this. I'm going to lose that. Don't lose nothing. That's right. Change thought process. Change mm -hmm. the word. So now I got to change the way I have to, my habits have to change in my yes. eating. That will get rid of the weight. Not yes. Because we'll yes. find it later on down the road. Yeah. It's, you know, it's so all about changing habits. 
Yes, the hand. And 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 looking at them in a positive. Again, we're talking about eliminating the negative and looking at it positive. Look at your approach to your health, your wellness on a positive. I'm going to give my body the activity it needs to stay strong and healthy so I can get out of it what I want it to do. I'm going to enjoy nutritious food. I mean, thank God for the Food Network because you can be creative and extremely imaginative with your food. If you're bored with your eating, you are not using some innovative and creative ways to cooking because you can make anything now and make it nutritious, make it healthy. We don't even have any excuses. You have food delivery services, and I'm not talking about Uber Eats, not, not knocking them, but I'm just saying where you can get nutritious meals brought to your home and you can prepare them so that you're still having that family camaraderie and cooking together and enjoying a meal together and, and doing the walking, doing whatever. A little bit of something is better than a whole lot of nothing. Mm. You got to do something. That, in every that, aspect. And that's what we're talking about when we're talking about personal development. When you don't feel good, how are you working your business well? If your mental is not, if your mental is all cloggy and foggy, you're not getting enough sleep, you're not getting enough rest, you're always on anxiety and stress, you're always not eating well, you're not resting well, you're not moving well. How are you operating a business? So we're, we're, we're here today to let you know that it is directly connected together. Mm -hmm. There is no separation of personal development and a successful business or a successful personal life. They were designed to work together. Amen. And without it, you, I, you, you may be up for a minute, but after a while, your body going to say, I'm out. And you're going to find yourself down in a way you didn't think you'd be down. So... Personal development is the mantra. Now, give us, Mr. Motivator, one business strategy or tip that you would leave with our audience today regarding personal development and their business. Everything you do should be congruent. Everything you do should be congruent. So, for instance, let's look at this. When I seen it and I heard it, I went to, came to, I mean, I came to Georgia and heard it. And the gentleman said, <clears throat> when I say congruent, anything you see me do is going to be congruent to what I'm already doing. Yes. So you'll see people do multiple things, right? But it's still congruent. Like when you see Pastor Jakes, this mm -hmm. man do movies. Yeah. He write books. He has tapes. He has ministry. He's in church. He has a, he has his own talk show. All of his yes. stuff is in the same alignment yes. or vein of what he already does. I'm not saying that you can't do multiple. Let me tell you, every time he speaks, a tape is done. Did you hear what I just said? Every time he speaks, a tape is written. Period. Whatever he says, if he speaks a minute, watch this. If he's teaching about one subject, once he teaches that subject, after he finished te teaches it, the tape is taken from what he taught, taken out, edited, and guess what? You got a tape that I can go into the store and the store and buy. So mm -hmm. what do he say? After he speaks, Y'all can go downstairs, the tapes will be in that same sermon he just talked to. How many of us say this? That tape was, oh my God, he taught about that. But mm -hmm. while he was doing it, it was being taped at the same time. You follow what I'm saying? So yes. now he has a tape that he can sell. He's still making offerings from the same ministry that he said. If he died today, his ministry goes on forever. Yes. Forever. That's that generational wealth preservation that we're oh, talking about. Absolutely. Look at books. He's writing books. He has ghost writers in that daggone audience writing his book right then and there. Now all you got to do is take a couple of the ministries, put them together, and get the editor. They'll edit it, and his book is written. Come on, yes. just stand Absolutely. Going 
right now can be edited to a book tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Believe me, they have these people who are doing this stuff and they become professional. Absolutely. So we in the business today, when I came into this technology space, when I came over here, because I was in that mm -hmm. all dry cleaning and everything, uh, the government told us we had to go from using perk to using solvent. That put us out the business because you got to get a yeah. machine. Ten grand. You know, man, ten grand. I just had a been a little family, but I can't. I don't even know. I'm going online, and that's where I've been. I've been here every since. I know that's right. It's <laughs> like, oh, uh, <laughs> you know, brick and brick and mortar has its place because there, oh there, there's God. still some things I have in in in, in the planning yeah. stages yeah. of of my overall uh, goals and vision. But yeah, this is where it is. This is where you promote it. This is where you put it, so that people know what products and services that you have available and what you could make sure that you are servicing the community that you have access to reaching and that is so critically important we don't need everybody doing the same thing but we need everybody doing something that can help the masses because in the days and weeks and months and the couple of years coming ahead we're going to see a level of unity like we've never seen it before because if you think you're going to be an island unto yourself and deal with our financial community that's coming up, you are sadly mistaken. Yeah. And we here at MagnetExchangeGroup.com, LifeChangingAlliances.com, we are here to holistically help you to make sure that you are prepared. As I forestated on yesterday, we're, we're in a Joseph preparation period where in that seven years of plenty, this is that time to plan. This is that time to strategize. This is that time to make sure that you are putting the necessary plans in place, writing it down, journaling, doing what you need to do, and then not just journaling, but from that journal, take a plan and make a plan, something that you can complete daily, something that you can complete weekly, something that you can complete monthly, something that you can complete quarterly. And as you're reflecting and looking back, our session today on Life Changing Alliances was awesome when it came down to talking about some of the habits, the lifestyles that wealthy people maintain, even after, they've, after they have acquired their wealth, there's a consistency that they keep going, that they keep doing, they keep learning, they keep reading, they keep studying, they keep developing their craft. I mean, if you look at, at how God moved, everything he built, when he told everybody to build the different tabernacles, he told them to build Moses, Solomon, he gave them specific instructions. And he told them to choose the people that have taken the time to master their skills called gifted artisans. That means that you took the time to take your business and you mastered it from the standpoint of being innovative, creative, and being a trendsetter in your industry, in your platforms, so that you are being now an instructor as well as being a service to the community with the products and services that you render to the community. <laughs> Sir, oh my gosh, I'm, oh, this yes. has been awesome. I'm, I'm, I'm sitting here thinking of some other things that we, we talk about in life changing alliances. Like I said, we touch so many areas holistically about your entire person, you know, that we want to make sure that when that wealth transfer comes, cause it's the process is working. Now the process of the wealth of the wicked being transferred for the justice here. And I want to speak to my believers because yes, I'm a total 100% believer in the fact that God is going to look out for his people. But he also told us to not be ignorant mm. on anything. Mm. That if there's some knowledge that we need to acquire in all of thy getting, get an understanding. You need to understand what is getting ready to happen and prepare yourselves and prepare your families for what is about to take place. Mm -hmm. We work in partnership with God. We are his hands and his feet in the earth. And if you're not preparing your barns, 
Joseph took seven years to prepare the barns. That means people worked. They mm-hmm. saved. They, they invested. They did whatever they needed to do to prepare for mm-hmm. the famine. So that's why when famine came, everybody was able to come to them. Ma'am and sir, I am here to tell you, the Magnet Exchange Group and Life Changing Alliances are one of the one of two. We have at le- we have multiple platforms under the umbrella. Mm-hmm. We are all building our ark. When Noah built was building his ark, he they never saw rain before. What's coming down the pipe in our financial world? We've never seen this before in this fashion because history is repeating itself. So even if you're taking the time to learn our financial history. There's aspects of it that we are seeing that gives us enough knowledge, enough information to be able to now develop the plans, develop the strategies, develop the businesses that is going to service your communities so that we can prepare, get ready, get ready, get ready, as Bishop Jake says, so that when whatever's coming comes, Yes, we'll be in the land of Goshen and and God will provide and will preserve, but he's also going to use the resources he's put in our hands as well. So we need to develop those resources. We need to build those resources. Do not, I'm I'm bringing these, these kings, these crypto godfathers on the platform in these next weeks and days, and I'm even bringing our queens in this month that are business owners and that they're di- at different levels in their business. So every uh, this whole month is going to be identifiable to everybody who has a pregnancy in their belly of a vision, mission, and purpose of a business, of an organization, something that you are called and destined to do for the community that you are in proximity to serve. This is preparation time. This is investment portfolio investing time. Portfolio development building time. And I'm here to tell you that when you go on magnetexchangegroup.com, when you go on lifechangingalliances.com, and all of these other kings and queens that I'm going to be bringing, make sure that you're liking, subscribing, and hitting notification buttons. Get the education that you need from people who are taking the time. I'm telling you, these gentlemen and these queens, they are tirelessly around the clock communicating with people in other countries that they are serving as well. So we are global because our whole world now is global. We're we're one world. It's coming to a one world system. We need to know how to operate and flow in it Mm -hmm. as believers in God and be the leaders that God has called us to be. Everybody wasn't called to the pulpit, but everybody was called to a ministry. Your ministry may be something dealing in your community. It's still your ministry. The streets are your pulpits. The -hmm. services you provide in your business is your pulpit. So serve, so preach, teach. Teach our young people the value of investment and the value of money. Everyone, there's nothing wrong with having nice things. There's nothing wrong with acquiring the wealth of this world, just as long as it doesn't have you, but that you are in control of it and that you are serving humanity. You are serving mankind with it. One thing I can say about our kings and our queens, we are learning to serve people where they are. We are a giving nation. We are a giving community. And we give among our community. We give outside of our community. When we go, and I, I'm going to have Kemp elaborate on this, some of his experiences. We, When we're just out and about in our day-to-day, we touch lives. Uh, Mr. Motivators, just share with us one experience that you can recall of when you and Dr. Lynn went out and you were able to make a difference in someone's life by being a blessing to them. Well... There's times that we go out and, you know, we go out all the time, but this is one specific, every Thanksgiving, we believe that, you know, we want to go out, we help somebody at the restaurant, she makes the dinners, and then we go out and we give them away. So I see myself developing myself to be one of the biggest philanthropists out there. 
Yes. So what, what I'm doing is on Thanksgiving, what we do is we go out, we give these meals to the homeless people who's out there on the street. They don't have no home to go to or nothing like that. And we bless them. But in the midst of that, we have a lot of people in our community from Life Changing Alliances hang out with us. Yes. So when we go out and do what we could do and give them that same experience, trust and believe that's what connects them to where we are today with Life Changing Alliances because there's a feeling that you experience yes. when you get into that, that statement of, and I was like, to see the smiles on their face, to see how grateful they are, like sharing. Yes. One day I'm in the Dagwall store giving away all these toys and the, the restaurant we went into. And it just, it's just making her smile. Yes. You're happy. That's what I'm looking for. I don't look for what I'm doing. It ain't gonna nothing there when I'm giving it because yes. it's just something I'm giving it. But when I get the smile back or I get a phone call or somebody say, man, the phone call from when I'm in network marketing to just say, go in your back office right now. Mm -hmm. There's a phone number. I love, that's why I like funds. Because when I go back yes. there, there's several people's names that I don't even know. And I call them up and I say, well, hello, my name is Mr. Motivator. I'm one of the leaders here with funds. And I just had to call you up and say, welcome. I yes. don't know if anybody ever said it, but that's listen, an awesome feeling. That's huge, man. That's, and, 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 and no matter how technological we get mm. and how isolated that some aspects of technology will bring, there is still never, ever, ever the substitute for the human touch. Whether wow. that's a smile, a hello, mm. a God bless you, a here. I was this. I this was just laid on my heart to be a blessing to you. It, it's a, such an awesome feeling to go into a department store and pick a a either a single parent or a family and say I'm. It's just on my heart to bless you with whatever it is that they need. Or they're they're in the line and they're checking out and they're at the end of their their groceries. And somebody just walks up and stick their card in the machine and pay for their groceries. I've had it done to me and then turned around and paid it forward. And I said, well, let me take the money I was going to buy what for myself and let me pay for the person that's behind me. You find people now there when people are in drive throughs they'll pay for the people behind yeah. them. We want that. in that's the infection we want to circulate. Let that be a COVID-19 kindness. Hello. What a K-19. <laughs> yeah, 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 you know, yeah. let's start up a K-19. That's Just spread perfect. some kindness. It costs you nothing to be kind. Ooh, Lord to Lord. just say, thank you. I appreciate what you did. I'm grateful for what you did or thank, you know, that goes a long way. Manners still matter. Wow. People act like they don't want to, you know, like it does, but no. Manners still matters. They may walk away not, and not let you see them shed a tear, but I'm here to tell you. Man. It matters. Kindness matters. Mm -hmm. A smile matters. Manners. Still With that being said, Mr. Motivator, is there Ooh. a parting word that you would like to give our studio audience today? I do. Manners still matter. <laughs> <laughs> I'm writing it down right now as I'm saying it because I it's know going to be right. I think oh, it's, just it, like it, it, it does. Can you just it, go it means so that? much. <laughs> Manners. Still matter. Still matter. That's gonna be something I talk about tomorrow. And kindness is king. Yes, yeah, yeah, that's crazy. kindness is king. Ah, y'all need to come to the uh, line tomorrow. I'm gonna yes. invite everybody out there that's listening to this call. Come on up here and see us at Life Changing Alliances. Thank you so much for having me today, Miss Laverne. I thank you for just showing up where you belong. Cause man, yeah. this is just the beginning here. But Lord have mercy, God has certainly touched you for this 
right this moment, right here, yeah. I promise you, it's not going to be just nobody ain't going to see. Do what you're doing. Continue yes. it. And the more I, you do it, it's going to go. I'm like, what? I know, that's right. I, I, I give what? God all the glory because two weeks ago, this was the furthest thing from my mind. See. So I know it was God that dropped it in my spirit because I got right on it. Amen. And God gave me the connectivity of the right resources and the resources of people to make this happen. Still got a few bolts and kinks in it, but they're going to be ironed out in a minute. Come I'm on. ironing them out Come every on. day. Y'all, you it's know not, me. I'm, I'm the note taker. So as soon as after this call, I'm going to sit back and evaluate myself uh, and, and uh, I appreciate any feedback from any of my platforms for uh facebook i'm laverne p sprule for my instagram i'm lady Vern. no that's success beyond strategies <laughs> my youtube channel is lady Vern. please uh, i've been been sharing uh mr motivators information uh this is his zoom call 9 a.m monday through friday 404-333-8430 it will be the best hour you have ever spent. Not telling on anybody, but we have people that are on their jobs and they're working, but they still can see our show. So yeah, it, you know, not, not getting nobody fired, but Absolutely. we do that. Absolutely. And I'm, I'm just here to tell you, follow him on his Instagram, the T-H-E-E -E, motivator. Oh. <laughs> and on his Facebook yes. channel, Life Changing Alliance and Mr. Motivator Satchel. So click them up yeah. on both of those. Thank wow. you, thank you, thank you for joining me today. Yes. Kemp, yes. Mr. Motivator Satchel, yes. CEO oh. and founder of Life Changing Alliances. And I've got to do this again because I'm so happy to have presented this slide. I want to make sure that is double whammied on my recording just in case I missed anything. One second, everybody. And that's a PowerPoint as well. Yeah, I will definitely send it to you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, oh, come on, work with me. Okay, let's do a process of elimination here. Show it for me. Oh, we want to be slick. That's okay. I'm still going to get it. You know me. I'm determined. Amen. <laughs> I don't let. I refuse to let technology beat me when it's man that made technology. Come on here. <laughs> Not going to happen. Not on my watch. I love your watch. <laughs> no, no. You got to get in that. Not order. under my watch. Wow. Okay. Let me do this. There we go. Told you it wasn't going to beat me. <laughs> <laughs> I said no. Hold on. Not today. Not today. <laughs> Put it back. We we have been sharing with a military service man, a mentor, a coach, a motivator, a teacher, with his closing remarks of take control of your life or over your life, because if you don't, somebody else will, and you will not like it. 
Booyah. Presented before you today. Dang. Kemp, Mr. Motivator Satchel, and one of the crypto godfathers of the Magnet Exchange Group. Love it, love it, Damn. love it. <laughs> good stuff, good stuff. Thank you. Awesome, awesome. Thank you, everyone, for joining us for Business Strategies and Tips with Lady L. I am your host, Lady L. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification button on my YouTube channel, Lady Vern, L-A-D-Y-V-E-R-N-E, -E, so that you can get a daily feed of business strategies and tips to make your business a successful, profitable business entity. Bye-bye for now.